Today I have the pleasure of speaking with George from Scandium International. How are you today? I'm fine, Tracy. You well? I'm great. Good. Here in PDAC floor, this is the gentleman that introduced me to Scandium a few years ago and explained to me how I needed to get in on the Scandium market. George, let's just start right here. You are one of the most competitive critical materials in the market right now. What's going on with Scandium International? Well. Uh, Scandium International is busy now building markets, developing markets for our primary project in Australia, the Ningen Scandium project. We have finished all of our work as far as, uh, as, far as the project is concerned and we're now ready to find our customers and, uh, and raise our funds. Didn't you tell me you have eight LOIs you signed last year? That's right. Last year we did eight letters of intent with prospective partners, technical partners who would potentially be customers and in fact we have probably as many behind the scenes that we can't talk about that did not want to be public knowledge, but are working with our samples and are, and are working with Scandium. For all of you cannabis investors that made a carload of money last year and are looking to diversify, this is one of the critical materials I really want to recommend you take a look at. So George, if you don't mind, some of our new audience members that are looking at Scandium, can you tell us why they need to get involved in Scandium? Well, Scandium is a tremendous alloying agent with aluminum, and aluminum has a superb future. Great growth prospects for aluminum over the next 10 years. Scandium is a known positive uh, alloying agent with aluminum. Fits really, really well into the transportation sector uh, across the board. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Uh, great markets for, for an aluminum scandium alloy. So just going back to these LOIs that you signed, I, I, I saw the one announcement I really liked. You had signed an LOI with Australia's largest defense exporter. Can you tell us anything more about this deal? Yes, I think the company you're referring to is Austel. And Austel make ferries for the commercial market, fast ferries, but they also make hulls for uh, the littoral uh, naval vessel that's being built in the United States and sold to U.S. U.S. alloys. It's a really interesting opportunity for us to put an aluminum scandium alloy in the high-speed uh, marine market, which is a place we think scandium absolutely belongs, both in plate and weld wire. So tell me a little bit more about these deals, Eck Industries. Sure. Well, uh, we did an interesting announcement on results from Eck Industries uh, back, in, uh, back in January, which we're pretty excited about. This is a casting alloy, and this is a group that's been working to put scandium along with cerium into a casting alloy, and they're getting spectacular results. They really, they really are pleased with their results. And let me tell you, importantly, what those results are. They're, getting, they're making stronger parts, but they're making parts that are much more heat tolerant. And their customers are asking for that, that improvement in heat tolerance, and they're delivering it with a new recipe that includes scandium. So what do you see for the market, say in 2019, the demand? Can you comment about the overall scandium market? Yeah, um, the 2019 is still going to be restricted by lack of supply. There's enough supply around through Chinese and Russian sources to keep the testing moving apace. And we're in that and others are in that too. So the, the process is continuing, the research is continuing, and we want to be delivering Scandium now in early 2021. Um, and we'll worry about the ramp up between now and then, but we see an explosive market. Uh, as soon as we can get into the business, there'll be others that will follow us, but we're first. And uh, we see, uh, we, uh, honestly, Tracy, we see a $1 billion specialty metals market for Scandium in 10 years. And, of course, you've just announced a uh, private placement on Friday. That's right. That's right. Um, very reinforcing, I think, to our goals and our strategy. It was uh, uh, the majority of this raise was, uh, was taken up by Rothschild, who is our uh, institutional investor, our first institutional investor. It's their second participation with us. The remainder was taken up by board and management on a unanimous basis across the board. So it's a real sign to investors that insiders are, uh, are positive about this story for 2019. And what should we anticipate, say, in the next quarter or two? I mean, you did eight LOIs last year. How are you going to top it this year? <laughs> Well, uh, having another eight is not a bad strategy, but really what we're trying to do now is we're trying to pivot 
the people that we're working with, the eight you know about and many more you don't know about. We're trying to pivot them from the R&D work that they're doing towards identifying the product that they want to put this into, building that value proposition for the product, product designer, with the marketing guys, that's when the purchase order comes. Well, George, as always, it's a pleasure to see you. Keep us updated, not only on Scandium International, but the Scandium market in general. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Pleasure.